Today in the grain market, let's start with soybeans. Uh, they slipped a little bit. The futures really broke through some big support levels and sent the market uh, really crashing through that $9 support level all the way down. Now it did, as we got uh, to the end of the day, it did come back a little bit, but we're waiting to find out what that U.S.-China talks uh, will do. You know, the technical numbers really offered no support. We had some follow through selling that pushed it in, but I think that we've gotten to a, an area where just completely oversold and we, we saw maybe a little bit of a bounce. That's not to say that soybeans are still weak. And you know, the question really is, is, is China really going to buy from us? I mean, we don't really know. So we're still in uncharted uh, territory and uh, not sure what to do. And I think with a lot of traders on the sidelines, we're going to see the, the market being uh, very buoyant at this time. Uh, corn is in kind of like the same boat. It was a little bit mixed. You know, the president's comments, I guess, were not really convincing because as the market opened up, it really uh, sank a little bit lower. The the, the comments that, uh, that China was going to be uh, buying a lot more corn and soybeans from us, uh, and more than we even thought of, uh, I think it's kind of fallen on deaf ears right now. Right now, most of the traders are really looking for real confirmation, and they want to see that, and they want to know, are we really close to a tariff resolution? It's like we've uh, we've called it out so many times, everyone's just not really sure what they see. So until we get to that point, you're going to see the market kind of meander around. Now, we did break through uh, one of the support levels, uh, but the market kind of recovered a little bit towards the end of the day. So maybe that just means the selling has stopped. Uh, could we fall further? Yes, we, we can, especially with this lack of interest. Everyone's really moved to the sidelines, so we're going to watch that closely. What's been leading the charge on the downside has been the wheat. The wheat fell again. The traders have all all but kind of given up. Uh, the market has fallen uh, much farther than we expected uh, and down to uh, a level that we were really like uh, surprised. Now there has been maybe a little bit of a comeback as well because we kind of uh, got to an area where they're just uh, you know n no more uh, selling. But the inspection the inspections just sh show that we are unable to keep up with uh, with our forecast uh, for uh, exports and that just means that we're going to be saddled with an awful lot of supplies right now and uh, maybe the fund managers are also adding to the short position on the wheat and that really sent the market tumbling and that brought down some of the corn and the soybean. There was a little bit of a recovery towards the end of the day but the market still looks pretty bleak right now so we're going to watch day, day by day uh, just exactly what's going to come out of the White House or maybe that we're actually going to see a uh, resolution on the horizon. That would help uh, a great deal to give us a little bit better uh, idea if the market's going to start to um, really give us any direction at all.